Hey everybody, this is Brett, and don't mind the sound of the printer, it's working hard. But I wanted to tell you why I'm not really a meatloaf fan. And I know that kind of contradicts with being nice to all the meatloaf people out there because he just died. But the reason that I'm not really a meatloaf fan is because I've never been into theater music very much. And so, it's also the reason why I don't like, um, what's-his-name's music all that much, um, Queen, you know? Because I always kind of thought it was like theater music, you know? It was like telling a story. I mean, it, that's okay and stuff, but I was never into watching theaters, you know, going to plays. I was never really into that. Although, I did live with theater kids in a big tent in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I kind of got the groove to that mentality and that, you know, the, the theater kids, you know? <laughs> and um, I, kind of, I kind, of, kind of connected with it, but not really. I never really liked theater music, and I always felt as though Meatloaf was theater music. You know, it wasn't really rock and roll. It wasn't really the music that I love. So that's why I don't really like Meatloaf's music. So thanks for joining me. I hope none of, nobody takes this personally, you know. <laughs> now, I always loved Meatloaf. And the thing is now, though, that I don't, I try not to eat heavy foods because meatloaf is definitely, it's got gluten in it, it's got probably got poor quality meat in it. Although I could make some with good quality meat and like rice bread, maybe. <laughs> or rice flour, something like that. But I always loved meatloaf as a kid, but I never really liked the singer Meatloaf. Thanks for joining me. Bye.